Oh, you do? Dan O'Hare? Don't know if anyone's on or not. Just uh, going through some stuff that I uh, just got. Must be in one of the sets. It's a Herbrand beer puller. Part number 1410-11S. Brand new in the box. Staples have me on the pull off yet. Haven't said yet. Might sell. Uh, I gotta look it up, see what, uh, how much one is worth from uh, Snap on. Let's look it up. I'll look it up. Hey guys. Oh, we got two in here. All right. Um, I don't know if I got comments up or what here. I don't know if anyone's comments. We got two people in here though. Two jaw, four, maybe I'll put in three jaw. I do it if uh, I put in the her brand number and it would come up. That just looked at was 600 and change. This is probably quite an expensive set. Hey, how are you, buddy? Fish Outdoors, what's up? At least I know the comments are working. Yeah, I'm just taking a look through some of the stuff I got here for my uh, haul from the. Uh, Hardware store, like we did a little while ago. This is kind of neat. I already bought one of these before. I can't two other sets in there, grab Since they're all here. Here's some bright corn for you. Okay, we got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, they're all here. Her brand. Nice NOS set. Got a few scratches on, maybe. Was it 32? From 10. It does not skip a size. Since we got two watching, no one's commenting. Hmm. So what do you think, guys? Some cool stuff. So I can see if you polished up a bit. It was sitting around a number of years. From what I understand, this set might be from the 80s or 90s. Very cool, though. video up and see what happens in any case like comment subscribe share hey just stop by and say hello Dana out oh hey Brian hey oh you're lucky I just seen you there I was just about ready to end this so what's going up buddy just showing off a couple things I got from the uh, Hardware store a while ago. You'd be the one to probably tell me uh, what this would cost uh, through Snap-on. It's a 10-inch gear pulling set. It's got the uh, three jaws, three other jaws. It's got all the attachments. It's got all the bolts. You got the hardware to configure it. Yeah, it's kind of a neat puller set. It's got the rod for it. Brand new in the box. There's some. Oh, let me grab the box and come in. Put the part number on the one end. Yeah, same numbers on the uh, other one. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, staple's still on it. Not even opened. I'm debating on whether to sell it. Holy oh, jumping, George. That one's heavy. And we got sockets. We got two sets of these, other than the one that I already got. things here. There's a bunch of these. They're uh, honing uh, sleeves. I guess we're doing the cylinder head, or doing the, yeah, cylinders. We got a few packs of these. We got this. And bills. Yeah, oh, I know Snap on stuff's expensive. You know something? Well, the Her Brand stuff's just as good and not nearly worth as much. Yeah, there's an all trade uh, Air Impact, brand new in the box, not even opened. Let's see if we can see this here. Well, it helps if I get the English side. Dusty as hell. Uh, focus. Max Torque. Yeah, you might be right there. Yeah, probably right there. Uh, 
Her brand screwdriver shows uh, Yeah, I'm not sure. It's probably an older unit. These are the uh, brake tools. Nice long screwdriver. The old hair brand logo. It's a pair of battery pliers. This isn't all the stuff I got, but just so. These haven't even been opened. I'm pretty sure these are battery pliers. Her brand though. Yeah, you fit three eight socket there or the ratchet there. You got the hole to put a bar on. And it's got the uh, adapter. Bring it up to half inch. Hey Nick, what's up? Oh, not yet. Um, I actually stand up in north of Hamilton. Now, I do have to find out about that. Um, usually, my ex will call me if I get something in. I haven't heard anything from her. I got a few of these. Oh, cool. Right on, buddy. So, how are things? A few more of those cleaning kits. Yeah, it's pretty cool, some of her brand stuff I got. This is only like a small sampling. There's a, another set of homes. Her brand assembled in Mexico. <laughs> that I didn't know. Uh, I got a few of these. The clutch style. That's not even a clutch style. And then, uh, I guess that'd be a 3 8 on the other end. Same color plastic as the hair brand. Yeah, these strange pliers. I'm not sure what the hell these are for. Some type of a pin or something. They look pretty old. No maker's name on them. Very strange looking. Sorry about the lighting too. Uh, the lighting's probably not the best. You know, three of these. Yeah, oddity of the day, that's for sure. I guess this is a quick connect for the uh, airline. It's a different one. It's a turnstile one. Schrader. Got three of these. Made in Canada. Get one that's not locked up. It should have a. Oh, yeah, this is the address there. King Street, Toronto. They're probably out of business. Got a couple more of them. They're priced at six fifty each. Yeah, some cool stuff. Oh, what else got in here? Couple more screwdrivers. Yeah, I got a bunch of these. The flathead. Found a gap tool. Her brain on it. Yeah, 
are definitely some cool stuff. Okay, what else we got here? Yeah, sorry about the lighting, guys. Uh, still got to get things set up here. Okay, what we got here? We got a Herbrand bearing splitter. Two and a quarter. This one says what? This one's her brand USA. Um, that other one, I don't know if it said anything as to Canada or USA. Um, you'd have to give me a second here. Let me clear some of this stuff out of the way. Probably take all them horns over to Buddy Man. He uses that kind of stuff. Let's see if he's interested in any of it. Proflex uh, manual impact. I'm gonna use that with the uh, sockets or the bits. I got a bunch of bits too for this. Pretty heavy, uh, yeah. Nice comfort grip on that. Okay, no, I, you know something? I might leave it up. We'll see. Yeah, no problem, snap off. Don't do that. All right, I'm going to put you guys down for a second while I uh, pull out this other thing. I'm still in the Stone Age here. I've got uh, doing this off my phone, so All right, just give me one second here. I'm going to get an up close look at a screwdriver for a second. Herbrand 800 harmonic balancer wheel puller and again this one has an open tray's a little cracked missing well maybe not maybe a couple bolts so you get the center you get this thing the two pulling gears and then all the bolts. Yeah, it looks like it's only supposed to have two. No, it's only supposed to have two. Yeah, it looks like it's all here. Yeah, definitely a cool kit. It hasn't been opened either. I'm going to leave it close for now. Definitely uh, some cool things. Alright, well, eventually I think I'm going to be doing a contest to give away some of that stuff. Well, some of it. I might be doing some screwdrivers. I think I got enough to put maybe one set together with the long and short, and there's a middle size one I got. We got a bunch of these short ones here. Well, we'll see what happens in the next little while. We've got a lot more yet to go through. Yeah, if you check out some of the other videos I put up, there's a a little bit of a look at some of the stuff I got. Yeah, I'm definitely kind of curious as to what that's for. That might be for pinch and strap, I'm not sure. So 
not really a cutting edge on it. This looks like it's kind of pinches the metal. It's probably not for heavy gauge stuff either. Definitely an oddity. Looks like it's forged. Hard to say. Definitely a strange tool. Yeah. Definitely, uh, you're gonna have to look for a home for some of this stuff. See how it's got the uh, ball detent in there. You can pass a bar in there. It's got three eighths on one side, half inch on the other. But there's no maker mark on these. I don't think these are her brand. But mind you, her brand did some cheaper stuff as the years went on. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Alright, well, guys, so. Uh, I don't know if there's really much else other here. We've got another box full of stuff in the car. Uh, I got a bunch more of these. Uh, there's a metric set of swivel uh, sockets, short ones. Yeah, no, it's definitely a nice haul. There's a whole bunch of others. I don't know if you've had take had a chance to take a look at it, Brian. There's about uh, three or four videos I did from the uh, from the uh, hardware store, and in between them, there's a bunch of uh, small videos where I just kind of dumped the stuff when I got it. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff I filled the car. <laughs> Doing the root beer tonight. Don't really drink much, so yeah, you'll have to check back. There's definitely some good content there. There's another box. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I forgot to give you guys a look at. Oh, damn big boxes. So dumping everything else. We got a her brand. VL 550 and it's a steam compressor. Let's see if we look at that. I think that's made in the USA this one. Yeah, made in the USA patent number. And it's a pretty heavy one. It's pretty heavy steel. It's made from Curve set of jaw and a straight set of jaw. Oh, yeah, let's see now. That's where the, the valve spring sits in. It's definitely cool. I can't wait for this one first because it seems to be. Threaded and one isn't. Yep. One side threaded and one isn't. And it passes through both there. Yeah. Yeah. Her brand was uh, originally in the U.S., but I guess it's the same with Snap On. They've got Canadian division, so then they don't have to pay for duty going across. Yeah. Definitely, uh, some cool tools. And her brand was equal to Snap On back in the day. I'm not sure if these particular tools were, I think these are from the 90s, maybe a little earlier, 80s. But a lot of their stuff was pretty much the same. I don't know, I might try uh, taking a video of some of the catalogs. I got a uh, catalogs. Maybe I'll do a little bit of that tonight. Yeah, this is, I guess, would be one of my first major live streams anyways. I've done some other live streams, but 
This is uh, one of the first ones where I've sat down and actually gone through some of the tool haul. And this ain't all of it yet. I still got a whole pile more to go through. All right, in any case, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tool haul. I don't know. I may, may sell these. I don't know because I don't really use this kind of stuff. The only thing though, the weight might be an issue for shipping. Yeah. I guess probably a couple pounds there. Alright, in any case, like, comment, subscribe, share. Say hello. Oh, throwing stuff around. Alright, have a great evening, guys. Yeah, yeah, no, okay, no problem. Thanks for stopping by, Brian. Have a great evening, guys. Good night.